up, everybody? Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to another fantastic review right here on YouTube and Justin Thorson Reviews. I got Tim with me once again. Hello, Tim. What's up, Justin? Ready for another review, buddy? I am. So this is review number three of the night. We're feeling pretty good. And as you can see behind us, we're doing an Elysian product. That's right. Elysian is how it's supposed to be pronounced, not Elysian. I like Elysian better. Most of us say Elysian, so... Say it how you want to say it. Exactly. Some people be snobby, but you know what? Do what you want to do. Just do what you want to do. Life. Except don't drink and drive. Please don't. Give a damn. Don't drive drunk. Anyways, we're doing today Space Dust from Elysian. Look how I did that. It looks perfect right there. Anyways, y'all, this is an IPA, a space dust. IPA. So, stay what tuned up? for this review. We're about to dive in to space time. So like I said, we are doing Space Dust IPA from Elysian. Tim, this has how much alcohol in it? I think it's at 8.2%. 8.2. That's a high alcohol volume for an IPA. Now this comes out in 16 ounce cans, uh, 12 ounce bottles, and you can get it in a 12 pack. Um, as far as I know, that's what it comes out in. Uh, I feel like we should have been saying this kind of stuff in the other videos. Because uh, there's a lot of different packaging for each uh, product. But hey, now we know what to relate to you people out there. Oh, um, yeah. So, <laughs> we would say they're enemies, but they're kind of owned by the same company, which is and one's from Seattle, Budweiser. One's from Denver, so. Yes, Tim, this is from Seattle, Washington, Elysian Brewing. And they do have quite an array of great products out there. Too. This one's their flagship. Yeah, this, this one is their they, most uh, popular IPA beer on the market right now. They do have some really good uh, seasonals like uh, Split Shot. Actually, that became a staple. Yeah, it did. It did. So what Split is Shot is a good coffee kind of a uh, porter. Uh, milk thing. Yeah. Kind of like a porter, but it's really good. So if it's try good. split shot. If you try to comment down below. If you like um, the Space Dust IPA, let us know. Uh, this is a. Uh, it says on the back, it's an India Pale Ale. Of course, that's what IPA stands for. The hopping is pure star glow energy with Chinook to bitter and late and dry additions of Citra and Amarillo. So, I don't know what Star Glow Energy means, but it must be good because this guy is spitting it out everywhere. Blam! I'm spitting rhymes. Uh, Elysian, uh, we opened our doors in 1996 when bold art and music defined Seattle. We carry the same spirit in the way we brew our beer. It's about taking chances, learning from our mis missteps, and changing perceptions. Pull up a bar stool at ElysianBrewing.com. Check it out. So, here we go. We're about to open it up and try the space dust. I think I've tried this once, Tim. Uh, I've tried it quite a while ago. Now, as far as IPAs go, guys, I do enjoy a good IPA once in a while, but it is not my. Uh, stuff. Ooh, that smells like an IPA. It smells very piney. So, it's hoppy. Like I said, I enjoy an IPA once in a while. It's not my choice of beer, per se. I do enjoy more light beers, personally. But once in a while, I do like a good IPA, especially like winter time, when uh, like autumn comes around and it gets cold outside. I do like a good IPA. So here is what we got for color and a nice big old head, Tim. That's what she said. <laughs> now that's actually a pretty light color. It is a darker yellow, as y'all can see. Definitely has, the, like they say, a, that Milky Way coloring. It's, Ooh, it's Milky light, Way but it is stuff. like sort of milky. Like, yeah, it does have a kind of a milky color. Uh, it's not 
It's not completely transparent. Wow, the big words coming out of my mouth tonight. Somebody read a dictionary. So uh, yeah, nice, nice, almost two finger head. Wow, that's a big one. That's also what she said. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, so it's about time to taste it. So uh, here we go. You can kind of smell a little citrus in there. You can smell the citrus. Very good aroma coming from this IPA. It's definitely, you got the strong IPA, the like typical IPA flavor, but you do get that citrusy little, little undertone. Just a, a good little hint on the scent. All right, time to put it in the mouth. Very piney IPA. Aftertaste, you get that citrus, a very light citrus aftertaste. As far as uh, IPA, can you taste that citrus, Tim? Uh, a little bit. I mainly just get the, the piney hoppy. Yeah, very IPA hoppy uh, IPA, as most IPAs are. Now, like I said, we're neither of us are very big into IPAs, but uh, once in a while, it's good to try something different and mix up the palate, if you will. There's a there's a handful that I like that are like not strong IPAs. Like they're IPAs, but they're not as like tiny and hoppy. Yeah. This is definitely more on the tiny hoppy end. But if you like a good strong IPA with a high alcohol percentage, this is a good one for you. Very good flavor. Now when I first take the drink, it's pretty smooth, and then as soon as you, after you swallow it, that's when that that strong IPA piney flavor really comes out, and, uh, and then all the other flavors kind of slowly um, present themselves as the taste dissipates after you swallowed. Damn it, Tam! You're making me think bad thoughts. That's what she said. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right. We just take this to a whole nother level. That's why we're the number one beer review channel on YouTube. When you're on your third beer review of the night, mind wanders. It mind does. Wanders. That guy behind me looks kind of creepy. Because he's spitting all over he's your shoulder. He's <laughs> spewing all over my shoulder right now. Nice hops. Anyways, guys, let us know if you guys like Elysian and uh, which of their products is your favorite down below in the comments. And make sure that that subscribe button is not red go ahead and tap it so that uh you are subscribed to the channel ring the little bell next to it that way every time we upload you guys get the notification <sighs> tim what would you rate this on a scale of one to ten as far as ipas go uh, as far as ipas go i'd give it a my patented one and a half thumbs one up. and a half thumbs i can't go two because i'm not a huge ipa person and as far as like IPAs, it's like super, I don't want to say super piney, super hoppy, but it is definitely on that piney, hoppy side. It's pretty strong, I so, And 8.2%, guys, it's pretty high also. So if you, if you know, you want something with more alcohol in it, it's definitely a good, a good choice for you guys. But uh, <clears throat> if I was going to rate this, I'll give it a five. Uh, like I said, I don't drink a lot of IPAs, so I... Maybe we should start doing more IPAs so we can get a good uh, palate for what the IPAs taste like and we can really rate IPAs a whole lot better than we do right now. But we're bringing you our honest opinion right here on YouTube so you guys can make a decision to go pick it up yourselves and uh, let us know down in the comments what you think. But right now, it's uh, it's not bad, you know? It is, it's definitely a slow drinking beer. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna pound six of these for me, one at a time. It'd like, be like a once in a while type beer if there's nothing else. Uh, if I wanted like a high percentage type beer, I would go with the Pearl IPA. That it's one is pretty good. It's super smooth. Maybe we'll do a video of that. It's not super hoppy, not piney, but it's got a high alcohol percentage. And it's a good IPA. Like that would be a more, if I were to drink IPAs all the time, that'd be one of the ones I'd look towards. Um, as far as, you know, this, this is, I'm not saying it's terrible, but it's definitely 
I really I, I like it. It's not something I drink all the time. Right. So, but if yeah. it was what somebody's had or what I had to buy, I have no problem drinking it. So. Yep. That's why I gave it a one and a half thumbs instead of two. Because it's not just, it's a little better than just one. But it's not all the way to two. Can't, can't. So about the, uh, the, the, I guess, strongness of the IPA, there's a video I did on, I can't remember if it was PCT, uh, the Rainier IPA, or if it was the Deschutes. But one of those that I, I did a video on, it was extremely smooth and it had like no aftertaste for an IPA. I was very surprised. Maybe it, it might have been a Pilsner, so I might be wrong there. But it was so light and like after you drank it, it had no aftertaste. Like this has a strong piney aftertaste. Yeah. Like it's, it's it sticks a, around. It's a smooth drink, but that piney hoppiness just sticks. It does. And you get that breath. I feel like, yep. yeah, if I start breathing on people, they're gonna be like, oh, you drank a beer. Like, yeah, I took not even a full can sip-wise, and it's just it's strong. So, uh, once again, guys, if you like IPAs, uh, this is definitely one to go try. Just have probably that, love it. that light citrus flavor at the end, and uh, yeah. yeah, not so bad, dude. If you like IPAs, you probably love this. But, like we said, it's one of our best sellers as far as IPAs go. Apocalypse is probably next on the list. Uh, which is one of the more popular brands out there for Anheuser-Busch as far as IPA is. And it's another high hobby. It's it is. Like this it is. We, we should do a video on that. So I think we're going to do that. Our next IPA is going to be Apocalypse from Tin Barrel. We'll come in here, we'll taste that, we'll see if you can have a good difference between the flavors. Like I said, guys, we need to do more IPAs so we can really get our palate used to what we're tasting here because I'm not 100% sure exactly what we're tasting as far as IPAs go. But I can tell you what I'm tasting right now. And that's a strong piney taste when you first drink it. And then an aftertaste of the citrus, like they said in here, citrus and amarillo. Uh, so you get that tint of the citrus flavor coming off the end of it. But like I said, we got to try some more, but it's not bad at all. As you can see, we've drank the whole can pretty much between the two of us. It's not too bad. It doesn't make my face cringe when I take a drink because some of the IPAs I've had, when yeah. you take a drink of that, dude, you're it's like, like oh, oh, did I just chew on a pine needle? Holy yeah. cow. Definitely not as strong as that, but still a, on the stronger end of flavor, piney. Does have that strong flavor. taste. So, uh, anyways, guys, that's it for us on Space Dust IPA from Elysian. I almost forgot what to say there. But uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe once again. We'll see you guys again next time on another review here on Justin Thorson Reviews. And that's Tim. Peace. See you again soon.